All right, good evening. Uh, my name's Terrence Pop for Donkness.com. On today's uh, late night discussion over some beers, I was talking the other day about the uh, lifting of the don't ask, don't tell policy in the army. Some people got pretty upset about it. I personally, I don't really give a shit. Kind of came up with a universal way of uh, detecting homosexuals. Not that I care or anything, but you know. You invented a gaydar. Yes, it measures gayness with science. If you're offended, by what I want to say, you can stop watching now, or I don't care. I wrote down the theory on the boards. If it's not spelled right, I got dyslexia, so f off. I... All right, so we're gonna go into it right now. Homeless suspicion points is the basic breakdown. Everyone starts off with one point. So you can never be at zero. If you were from Europe, and, and I personally don't know you, you're gonna get two points, because you're getting one point for a soccer assumption. We'll get to that later. Three, if you see more than three musicals in a 90 day period, you're gonna get three points. And one point drops off every 60 days that you're gonna be in musical free. You might wanna ration your musicals so you don't wind up going too high on the, on the scale. If you use over descriptive words and convey too much emotion when you talk, you're gonna probably tip the balance and you're gonna get a point there. I'm sorry, that's the way it is. If you always must color coordinate, that's a point. I swear this because you know, normal dudes just kind of throw in what they got on it. You know, they don't always color coordinate unless they're going to church or going to go pray to zombie Jesus or whatever. Zombie Jesus! If you drive a car that appears to be powered by a hamster, I might have to give you a point. I mean, I drive a cop car. That's just the way it is. If you appear as if you have sugar in your tank. Now, it's hard for me to describe that. We all know what we're talking about here. Oh my God, you can feel the heat. If you're seen walking, holding hands with another man, you fall a whole different category. And that also goes back to the European, you know, soccer assumption. That's just the way it might be a little bit redundant, but I don't care. If you prefer wine to beer, it's plus one. If you prefer beer to wine, you get minus one point. <laughs> what are you gonna do? If you like to dance. Now most dudes will dance, you know, to you know, get a piece or keep their woman happy or whatever, but more. Most dudes just kind of like, if you read and write poetry, that's plus one. If you're willing to burp or fart in public, you know, you don't care, minus one point. <laughs> if you disobey purse etiquette, that's another future episode. I can't really explain it right now. It's plus one. If you hold an occupation that's historically held by women, man-made, I'm not talking about a janitor because janitors are cool, or a man nanny, or a, or a manny as we call it, a hairdresser, or if you sell female products. Come on guys. If you like chick flicks and you see them alone, that's plus one. If you like to put clear coat on your nails, that goes like, the, it's a little metrosexual, I don't know about that. If you're willing to go into a gay bar, I'm not talking like a homo ambush where you just walk into one and not know it. Here's a big one with me, okay? If you refuse to serve in the military, even if you're like drafted or something, you're gonna get a point. Crossdresser, if you engage in that type of behavior, that's plus four. And you know, you get like a time frame around Halloween where you're not gonna get penalized, you can say it's, it's a costume or whatever. And you know, we'll pretty much believe you. But if it's like March, if you can't tell a person's sex by their name or the way they look. You become like a she, him, person, or a shim. Oh my god, you can feel the heat. Okay, if you like, I'm guilty of this. Okay, this is one for me. Uh, if you like foo foo drinks, okay, that's plus one. I, I want to admit to it right now. I will drink the hell out of kamikazes, clue and cream, and some of those other foo foo ice cream drinks. This is how I am. I love them. All right, we're going to move over to the second board here. Let me get my beer. <laughs> Adjustable variables. Okay, these are things that you kind of decide on the fly what's going on. And all of them, but a few, you know, are input from other people. If you are a meat eater, minus one point. Now, if you are a vegetarian by choice, okay, I'm not talking about if you develop some kind of digestive, digestion tract issue and you got to switch to like a veggie diet because your ass turns into a water cannon or something. You got to adjust your diet. Okay, now if you like cats, Okay, you're allowed one. If you go over that and you have like four or five cats or even like, 
you know, you're, you're going to get a point. If you like dogs, one dog, whatever, if you like one or five or whatever, any dog, minus one. Okay, now, if you like to play golf, you wear the funny hats, you walk around in the golf course, I, I don't know, I, I don't get it. I've watched golf on TV and it is the most boring, stupid thing I've ever seen. That's just the way it is. You hit a ball with a stick and goes in a cup, I, I don't know, I don't get it. If you like NASCAR, now I know they drive in a circle and it's stupid, but the crashes are cool, man. Rugby, minus one. Volleyball, plus one. Track and field, okay, now I, I, I gave this a plus one, but some of my friends actually convinced me that I should probably not penalize track and field because you never know when the average person has to run, jump, crawl, or swim to get away, so I'm just saying. Shooting, if you like to shoot guns, minus one. Fishing. Minus one. Hockey, minus one. Again, it's like an organized violence. You know, you got sticks and blades on your feet. It's kind of cool. Football, minus one. Soccer, okay, now, if you notice I'm giving you a plus one for soccer, because we're going back right over here to the European soccer assumption. If you are a, an American and you like soccer, you're, you're just getting, you know, plus one. Boxing, minus one. Pro wrestling, it's gay, come on. Tennis. All right, I'm just gonna have to give that one point. Uh, I mean, if you like watching like a female tennis because some of those chicks are hot and they play, okay, I'm just gonna let you slide on that one. But if you like tennis, just playing old straight up tennis, you're getting a point. Diving, come on now, plus one. Work with me here. High lie, okay, that, that's a crazy ass thing where they have the hooked loops on their hands and they throw the ball like 200 miles an hour. Yeah, that's stupid. Holo. Okay, that's like from the 1800s. I know it's on horses and stuff. And, and then, you know, big mammoths. Still, you know, plus one. And then we get down to water polo. Same thing, plus one. Cricket! What the hell is that? I don't know. Nobody understands cricket. You gotta know what a crumpet is to understand cricket. And you know what, if I'm gonna give cricket a, you know, one, then, then baseballs get one too. All right, now curling. I've watched this mind-numbing exercise on TV when there's nothing else. And that is about as gay as a $2 bill right there. So you're getting two. Figure skating. You're going over the edge with that, so that's plus two right there. Synchronized water ballet. That's plus two right there. I mean, that is some crazy, crazy gay stuff. I... Male cheerleaders. Plus two. That's just my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. All right, bodybuilding. Now people say, oh, bodybuilding. Bodybuilding is plus one, man. Those dudes look at each other in the mirror and they smear oil. And they, I don't know, man. If you know what waff, lavender, and majestic colors look like, you're gonna, you know, but you might fall under the interior designer thing. Get a, get a point for that. Now, a lot of you are like, why? What, what's up with all this? What is this all for? Okay, I'm gonna explain it to you. Okay, we're gonna go to this graph here. Okay, you can add up your points, whatever you gotta do, and you come over here, the home will confirm scale. We have the zero here, which really nobody can get to. All right, we're gonna go to 14. If you have 14 points, and you're a guy, and you appear obviously have sugar in your tank. Oh my God, you can feel the heat. If you're a metrosexual guy, and you get in all that stuff, and you make it all the way to 21 points, you're gonna become home confirmed. If you can make it to 25 points, and you're a hidden homo, you're gonna get homo confirmed. Automatically 25 points, you're gonna homo confirmed. Now what does that mean? That means absolutely nothing. I personally don't care because it used to be the don't ask, don't tell. Now it's the, you know, don't ask if you can't tell. Which probably, probably best, so. <laughs> now we're gonna come over to auto confirmation here. There's a few things that will get you an auto homo confirmed here. Okay, I had to put that in here. One, self admission. You come out and say it, done deal, we you know, have a beer and I tell you we're off the menu and that's the way it is. Okay, if you get caught with a peg D that is not yours, that's a that's a homo confirm right there, man. I'm just gonna go with that. If you get caught with a peg D and a slot B of a peg D holder, out of confirmation. If you have any questions, send me an email. I hope you all like this. If you don't, I don't care. Uh, if you don't like the way I spell it, that doesn't really matter either, because dyslexia, y'all can f*** off. Uh, this is all just for fun. If you're offended, let me know. If you're not, let me know. Either way, 
I don't care. All right, have a good day. Bye.